so I ask you to be bold in your faith in Christ Jesus, to look for the opportunities to live your faith, to drop your judgments at the foot of the cross, and to remember that faith and opportunities are constantly active. Amen. Thank you, Vicar Denise, for your message. So, at this point, we are going to have our hymn. Now, I want to say we've had a little bit of technical difficulty. I know some of you who are watching this online, those of you in the in the parking lot, y'all, it's been fine. But those of you online, uh, there's been some difficulty and part of the sermon was cut out. Just uh, rest assured, our plan is to record that and drop that in for you all to see later so you can enjoy that entire message. But that'll be later on this afternoon. So sorry about any technical difficulties, but that's the way technology is. It's a mixed blessing. Sometimes it feels more like a mixed curse. Um, but we're going to have our hymn, which is it's a virtual hymn that Dr. Ryan Lures has put together. And again, if you want to be a part of the virtual choir, uh, he's, in, he's welcoming people in our community to participate in that. So if you're interested in, in doing that, um, let us know. We'll help you figure out how you can do that and be part of that choir. So we're going to play this. This is actually um, God of Grace and God of Glory. It's ELW 705.
now we've come to the point of the service where we have our prayers of intercession. I want to encourage those of you who were worshiping with us online to include your prayer concerns uh, within those comments. And I encourage all of you during this week as you have your prayer time to go through those comments. You can access these videos at any point and you can go through those comments and see the prayers of those within our congregation. Um, often there's too many to mention even during our service, but uh, during the week we have a little bit more time to do that. So let us pray. With confidence in God's grace and mercy, let us pray for the church, the world, and all those in need. Gracious God, you called us by name and invite us to share your good news. Send your Holy Spirit among preachers, missionaries, and evangelists. We give thanks for the witness of your servant Luke the Evangelist, whom the church commemorates today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of praise, the heavens and all creation declare your salvation. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the whole universe show forth your goodness. Raise up devoted stewards of all that you have made. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of all, may your word of justice sound forth in every place. Restore divided nations and communities with reconciling truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of light, we pray for those living with pain, illness, isolation, grief, anger, or doubt, especially those that we name before you in, in our families, our friends, our congregation and community right now, either silently or aloud. Join their voices in a new song, assuring them that all you call that you call all of them by name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of truth, you show no partiality. May your spirit guide the work of justices, magistrates, court officials, and all vocations of the law, that your promise of restoration may be known. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, as you raise Jesus from the dead, so raise up those who have died in you. We give you thanks for their witness, confident of your rescuing welcome for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Listen as we call on you, O God, and enfold your loving arms, in your loving arms, all for whom we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So I messed up earlier and forgot to play. Jenna recorded a beautiful prelude for us. And when I finished my welcome, I should have gone right into the prelude. But what we're going to do instead um, is right now we're going to have that as a musical offering. So this is something that Jenna recorded for us this, uh, this week. And it's a prelude, but consider this also a musical offering.
through after the service, and I want to explain it's a little bit different this time around, and I'll go over this again with the announcements, but right after this service, as soon as possible, we're going to move all of these items of our stage off um, out of the way so cars can begin to come through. So what we're going to do a little bit differently is um, those who want to, and again, this is optional, um, as you come through, we're going to be counting off cars. So every 10 cars, um, we're going to count that as a group. So as you come through, if you want to, you can take your communion elements and take them home and consume them at home. Or the other option is that you can circle back around and come down to the lower end of the parking lot, just so you're kind of out of the way of the other cars coming through the drive through And you can park down there and at, at, uh, after 10 cars, I will say a blessing um, as you're gathered here, and you can take your communion right here in the lower part of the parking lot. So, um, so I'll go over that again when we get to that. If, if you don't want to stay and receive the blessing, you can take your elements and go home or wherever you would like to go and consume the elements. So we're giving two options there. The other thing I want to say is that as you come through the drive-through, we're also going to be giving you something called Reformation and All Saints in a Bag. And it's some things that you can do at home to celebrate these two special Sundays that are coming up. Reformation coming up next Sunday and All Saints the next Sunday. So you'll pick those up too. For those of, uh, for, of you who are, who are joining us online, you will start at 1030. We invite you to start coming up to the church and come through the drive through at 1030. So from 1030 to 11, there's no alphabetical order or anything like that. If you come up between 1030 and 11, you can receive the elements. You also can take them with you or you can go proceed to the lower end of the parking lot where I will do blessings uh, periodically. So communion. On the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I just want to say a word of thanks to Vicar Denise for bringing us our message this morning. Those of you who had online the message cut out will upload that later for you. So you will get a message this week. Also for uh, Deacon Liz who is doing our, our technology or handling our technology and all the headache that that is. Thank you Deacon Liz. Thank you Deacon Lynn for responding to comments. I want to say thank you to Jenna for the music. And we do have a postlude that we will play in just a few moments if I don't forget. And um, thank you to our property brothers who came and set up the stage and the backdrop and everything this morning. I really appreciate that. Um, just a, a couple announcements. We do need candy. In two weeks we have the Trunk or Treat. And, um, and we're going to do that. It's going to be a Trunk or Treat drive through And so people who come through to get candy, the children and whatnot, they're going to stay in their vehicles the whole time. We're going to be out here working out of our trunks with masks on. We're going to be social distanced in family groups. But we're going to need lots and lots of candy. I anticipate this year we'll need more candy than we've ever needed for trunk or treat. A lot of places aren't doing trick or treat. So please be as generous as you can. You can drop that off in the church office anytime during the week. And if you want to host a, a, your trunk, you want to give out candy from your trunk, um, you can do that. Please let Deacon Liz know that. We even have this kind of a special way of doing it where 
we're actually kind of shooting the candy uh, in a gentle way um, into each car. So there's no touch. There'll be plenty of space between us and folks coming through. If you want to do that, please talk to Deacon Liz about that. She'd love to have you uh, help with that. Also, uh, just make sure I, I don't forget anything here. Um, so next Sunday is Reformation Sunday. We're going to be we're going to be uh, having our worship service recorded live from the sanctuary. We've got some special stuff that's taking place that we've planned. You will not want to miss that worship service. And though it is live in the sanctuary, afterward we will have a drive-through for communion, and we will be sending out instructions about how we'll be doing that because it's a little bit different from going from drive in to drive through um, versus what we're doing next week but we'll have communion again next week and um, so you'll want to tune into that again with drive through communion today those of you who are here in this parking lot with us this morning as soon as we move everything out of the way we're going to welcome you to come through you can take your elements home with you or wherever you're going and consume the elements there or you can circle right back around, go to the very lower part of, the, of our parking lot and park out of the way of the, of the uh, drive-through for communion. And after every 10 cars, I'll be doing a blessing and you can consume your elements there and then head on home. Uh, we'll also be handing out the Reformation and All Saints in the bag today. So uh, it's a little bit different from the way we've been doing it. Those of you who are watching online, you can start coming up here from 10.30 to 11. We're going to have drive through communion. Same way, you can take your elements with you or you can go down to the lower parking lot or the lower part of the lower parking lot and there'll be a blessing every 10 cars. So we're doing it just a little bit different to see if um, we can accommodate some different needs within our congregation. A couple prayers. Please continue praying for George Pope. Um, pray for Connie Burleson and family after the loss of her father. Um, Carolyn Sigmund, as she is uh, continuing to recover, she's at home now but recovering still um, after surgery. For Carol Tawney, who's been having some health issues. Um, also for Todd and Pam uh, Probst, who are, are uh, recovering some, from some health things. Um, and then all those who've been listed in our prayers. I know that I've missed some and I, and I apologize for that, but a lot of folks. I can tell you we have members of our congregation right now who have coronavirus, who are, who are um, recovering from that. Um, I can't always give those names, but the point is we need to be praying for folks who are not only who have the coronavirus, but those who are working you know, in the health professions to care for those with that. So uh, please be in prayer. We need prayer now, uh, I think maybe more than ever. So we'll now have our blessing and sending. The Lord bless you and keep you the Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. In response to the love of Jesus Christ, our mission is believe, belong, serve. God's work, our hands. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And I'm going to play Jenna's postlude. I'm not going to forget it this time. Mm -hmm.